These are 10 of the weirdest species in the Star Wars universe. At number 1, we have Hakarans. These Hakarans are sentient insectoid species who inhabited the swamp planet of Hakara. There, they had their own language and were capable of flight. Hakarans usually massed in large swarms, and they communicated with outsiders by forming the shape of an object or symbol. With the help of the Republic and Anakin Skywalker, they were able to defeat the Separatist forces that were invading their homeworld. At number 9 is the Silesian species. The Silesians look like floating brains. They breathe a poisonous gas and conversely, oxygen is lethal to them. They are an isolationist species, however they are highly intelligent and capable of telekinesis, and they were known in the Galactic Republic for their intellect and wisdom. They inhabit the planet of Silesia, which is known for its raging seas. At number 8 are Kowakians. Formerly known as Kowakian monkey lizards, they were a race of reptilian creatures who were known for their shrill laughter and sense of humor. They were often kept as pets by members of the underworld. Most notably, Jabba the Hutt and space pirate Hondo Onaka owned Kowakian mon monkey lizards. One fun fact is that the name of the monkey lizard owned by Jabba the Hutt is actually Salacious B. Crum. That's his actual name. Number 7 are the Dianaga. The Dianaga are carnivorous tentacled squid species, which made its appearance in A New Hope in the garbage compactor where it attempted to eat Luke, however it released him and escaped when it realized that the walls of the garbage compactor were closing. Otherwise, there's not much information about this species. Number 6 are the Bomar Monks. The Bomar Monks from the Bomar Order were an order of monks who had their brains surgically removed and placed in a jar containing nutritious fluid. They moved by using spider-like droid walkers. These monks built monasteries all over the galaxy, however they were unable to protect them from being invaded. Their monastery on Tatooine was invaded by Jabba the Hutt, who turned it into his personal palace. These creatures can be seen roaming the palace in Return of the Jedi. At number 5 are Minox, which are silicon-based bat-like parasites, which could survive the atmosphere of most planets as well as the vacuum of space. This is the creature that almost engulfed the Millennium Falcon in The Empire Strikes Back. One fun fact is that Minox can be cooked and seasoned and there are, they are actually a delicacy among Twi'leks. Number 4 is the Sarlacc. The Sarlacc is a carnivorous creature native to the Dune Sea on Tatooine and one of Jabba the Hutt's favorite pets. The Sarlacc is over 100 meters tall, however its entire body is buried in the sand aside from its giant mouth and tentacles. The Sarlacc has numerous stomachs, making it insatiable, which is coupled with rows of hundreds of spear-like teeth, which allow it to devour its victims whole. At number 3 are Ugnaughts. Ugnaughts are actually a humanoid species, which are short yet resilient, and their lifespan is over 200 years. They are native to the planet of Gentis, and the majority of Ugnaughts are sold into slavery. However, the Ugnaughts were instrumental in the construction of Cloud City on the planet Bespin. At number 9 are Shards. Shards are silicon-based sentient crystals that are native to the planet Orax. They are immobile, but they can become mobile if placed in specially modified droids. Shards communicate with one another through electromagnetic communication. Colonies consist of thousands of shards, and political decisions are made by consensus, which sometimes took centuries to reach. Some shards, which were placed in droids, went on to become Jedi Knights, under the training of Jedi Master Aquinos. And finally, at number 10 is the Rakata. The Rakata were a humanoid species with distinctive amphibian features. They were technologically advanced, however their consistent use of the dark side of the force ultimately led to the corruption of their society, turning them into merciless warriors. They founded the infinite empire of the Rakata, and conquered numerous other planets and species, where they enslaved or massacred entire populations. They stripped and terraformed entire planets to fit their own needs, and sometimes they would eat and defile the bodies of their enemies.